Hi guys, this is Faye from Face World Media back at you to talk about Mass Save and all the incentives right here offered in Massachusetts for those of you who are considering exploring the installation of heat pumps and more green energy. Here in Massachusetts, we have up to $10,000 in rebate money if you choose to move forward and install heat pumps. Heat pumps provides both heat and also cooling for your homes. Given oil prices now is very high, there's a lot of incentives for homeowners like myself to consider heat pumps. Heat pumps can be complex and expensive to purchase and install. So I think this video will offer what you're dealing with, how much you can get, how to fund the remaining amount. Since I've gotten four to five bids for my two-story home, I understand that most offers you're going to see right around 2022 is between 30 to $40,000. If your home is smaller, then installing heat pump will also cost less. MassSave will give you a $10,000 rebate. That is something that you will get four to six weeks after installation. On top of that, you also get a seven year, 0% interest loan up to $25,000. So when you combine the math, 25,000 plus 10,000, you have about $35,000 that you can leverage if you choose to move forward with installing heat pumps. What about the difference? That's right. If your system, let's say, ends up costing $37,000, you do have to come up that from your own savings account. Now, in this video, I want to talk you through the process related to the $10,000 rebate, the $25,000 loan, plus a bonus feature, which is a good idea for you to do. That is the free energy assessment offered by your energy service provider, for us, it is National Grid. That is beside installing heat pumps, but all the insulation they'll provide for you and they will sometimes drop off these little gadgets and outlets for you to be more energy efficient in your home can really save you a lot of energy costs over time. After the energy assessment, the state of Massachusetts will pay a significant chunk of the cost. If I remember correctly, somewhere around 75 to 80 percent, I ended up only paying a small fraction of that cost. Please watch till the end. I'm going to take you through the form process. This video is not sponsored by MassSafe, but I feel really grateful to have found out about this program. First of all, let's take a look at the MassSafe heat loan. Again, it's up to $25,000 for energy efficient home upgrades like air source heat pumps. And to apply for the loan, the process is pretty straightforward. It took me maybe only 15, 20 minutes or so. So to get started, you will need to find a participating contractor. And the reason guys is that you have to do this after you have received these bids and that you have decided to move forward with a particular contractor. The reason is as part of the loan process, they will ask you about details related to the heat pumps that you're installing, including a specific reference code that your contractor will be giving to you in, in order to proceed. With that said, you can still get started with this application and save it, come back to it later. Step two is complete and submit a copy of the intake form. Step three, securing the loan. There is a list of participating lenders here. As you can see on this page, you can search for a county. Uh, here, we're actually referencing to MassSave is for the residents in Massachusetts only. It was really easy for me to find one. And by the way, some of the pointers here is you want to pay attention to the standard loan amount up to the amount that you need. For us, it was $25,000. And also, I like to see these icons for pre-approval through branch pre-approval through phone versus pre-approval through a website. For me, the most important thing was to see the pre-approval through their website. With that said, all you have to do is apply or check your application status there. Once you do that, you'll be taken to this page. There are no surprise questions. Let's take a look at the Mass Save 10,000 rebate. By the way, I'll include all the links in the description below. You can also freely Google uh, terms such as Mass Save 10,000 rebate. If you're ready to get started, click on the link in the description and you will see at the top air source heat pump rebates. There are two options. You can submit rebate online, which is always my preferred option, but you can also download the rebate form and mail it in. By the way, this is part of the process where most likely your HVAC company will help you through. What type of utility services do you receive? And here I'm going to say national grid. What product categories are you interested in? For us, it's going to be air source heat pumps. Currently, what is the fuel type of your heating equipment currently? And that is oil for me. Apply for rebate. Here is a confirmation of the programs that are available. I won't take you through the whole thing. 
Uh, but the payee information, as you can see here, account information, this is all related to your energy company, your electric account number, all that jazz. Next is product information. If you're not sure which of the selection is right for you, you can always contact your HVAC contractor. Whether do you own or rent your home? The documentation's here. Let's see. Copy of your invoice within 60 days of installation from a licensed contractor. And here's a list of documents, proof of payments, and submission. You're done. So I hope you find this video helpful. Please let me know if you like to learn more about Matt Save Energy Services. And I know I'm not an expert, but I do want to put these reminders and content forward. It's a great place for me to learn to reflect. And as a content creator who works from home full time, as well as my partner and my mom, we're all entrepreneurs. This just means so much. I'm so glad that the state of Massachusetts is making energy savings and going green possible for residents like myself. If you want to learn more about green initiatives and how it can realistically benefit you, your family, please check out this community called the Carbon Almanac. It also has a companion book. You'll meet a lot of really interesting people. You can sign up for newsletters to learn more about how to go green and together how we can make this planet a better place for us and for future generations to come. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.